Assalamu alaikum. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. And I bear witness that the most honorable minister Louis Farrakhan is our divine warning and guide in this day and time. And we, you really do need a guide and a warner in this day and time. Because obviously, we've been lied to the whole while we've been kidnapped here in America. And y'all want to know what this all about or what the time of what must be done we was posting the Muslim was posting to try to help wake up our brothers and sisters out here who don't understand who never got the message and this is not the first time things like this happened to us when we were so called freed and most of our people never even got the message to years later years later so therefore we trying to be on social media to inform our people and others about what's really going on. America claimed to be what they say they are, but it's just a lie, and y'all know this. There's no justice for us. How are we going to have justice with a people who was enslaved up to 400 and some odd years, almost five now, and still slaughtering us today? Are you serious? You think they can tell the truth about us better than us? And you're going to listen to people who it don't make no sense. I'm not even going to go into that. But the reason why I make this video, because I'm tired. I'm so tired. The minister been warning us, and I know how he felt. I heard his message, and he feel it, and I feel it. It's time for us to stand up and do something. Organize better than what we organizing. Man, y'all need to put y'all egos together. I see a lot of different organizations that got their own thing going about separation and everything else, but they want to seem like that we're, they're better than us. And Stop. Like that song said, you need to cut it. But I'm using it in its own this term. You need to cut it for real. How in the heck is any of us better than the other? We're not. They're not going to stop and ask us what religion we are and what background we're from. Are you? Cr but anyway. Y'all need to put y'all best minds together because the minister been teaching us about this program that the Honor Elijah Muhammad has gave to us. What the Muslim wants. The Muslim program. The Muslim program. Yeah. It's Muslim because we all submitters of God, and that's what that means. Come on. Mess with words if you want to, but we ain't got time for that. He wants us to be separated from them. And if I have to read every last one of these topics to let you understand where is not your enemy, and they are, then I'll do that. Okay, let's go through number one, what the Muslims want. What the Muslims want. This is the question asked most frequently by both the whites and the blacks. The answer to this question, I shall state as simply as possible. Number one, we want freedom. Freedom. We want a, com we want a full and complete freedom. We want justice, equal justice under the law. We want justice applied equally to all, regardless of creed or class or color. We want equity and opportunity. We want equal membership in society. We want the best in civilized society. We want our people in America whose parents or grandparents were descendants from slaves to be allowed to establish a separate state or territory of their own, either on this continent or elsewhere. We believe that our former slave masters are obligated to provide each land, I mean such land that that the area must be fertile and minimally rich. We believe that our former slave masters are obligated to maintain and supply our needs in this separate territory for the next 20 to 25 years until we're able to produce our, and produce and supply our own needs. Since we cannot get along with them in peace, in peace, 
equally after giving them 400 years of our sweat and blood, receiving in return some of the worst treatment human beings have ever experienced. We believe our contribution to this land in the suffering forces upon us by white America justifies our demand for complete separation in a state or a territory of our own. We want freedom for all believers of Islam now held in federal prisons. We want freedom for all black men and women now under death sentence. Innumerable persons in North as well as South. We want every black man and woman to have the freedom to accept or reject being separated from the slave master children and establish a land of their own. We know that the above plan is the solution of the black and white conflict and the best and only answer to the problem between the two people. Only answer between the two people. We want an immediately end to the police brutality, immediately end to the police brutality, and mob attack against so-called Negroes throughout the United States. We believe that the federal government should intercede to see that black men and women tried in white courts receive justice in accordance with the law of the land, or allow us to build a new nation for ourselves dedicated to justice, freedom, and liberty. As long as we are not allowed to establish a state or territory of our own, we demand not only equal justice under the law of the United States, but equal employment opportunities now. We do not believe after 400 years of free or nearly free labor, sweat and blood, which has helped America become rich and powerful that so many thousands of black people should have to subside on, subsist in relief, charity, or live in poor houses. We want the government of the United States to exempt our people from all taxation as long as we are deprived of equal justice under the law of the land. We want equal education but separate schools up to boys, I mean up to 16 for boys and 18 for girls, in the condition that the girls be sent to women's college and university. We want all black all black children education taught and trained by their own teachers. Under such schooling system, we believe we will make a better nation of people. The United States government should provide free, all necessary textbooks and equipment, schools and college buildings. The Muslim teachers shall be left free to teach and train their people in the way of righteousness, decency, and self-respect. We believe in intermarriage. Stop love. We believe that intermarriage or race mixing should be prohibited. We want the religion of Islam taught without hindrance or suspicions. These are some of the things that we, the Muslims, want for our people in the nation, Mustafa, in North America. What the Muslims believe. Number one, we believe in one God whose proper name is Allah. We believe in the Holy Quran and in the, in the scriptures of the prophets of God. Stop Allah. We believe in the Holy Quran and in the scriptures of all of the prophets of God. We believe in the truth of the Bible, but we believe that it has been tampered with and most and must be reprinted, I mean, stuff like, re, must be reinterpreted so that mankind will not be snared by the falsehood that they have been added to it. We believe in Allah, Prophet, in the scriptures, the Bible. 
in the scriptures they brought to the people. We believe in the resurrection of the dead, not in physical resurrection, but the mental resurrection. We believe that the so-called Negroes are most in need of mental resurrection. Therefore, they will be resurrected first. Furthermore, furthermore, we believe we are the people of God, choice, as it has been written, that God will choose the rejected and despised. We find no other persons fit in this description in these last days more than the so-called Negroes in America. We believe in the resurrection of the righteous. We believe in the judgment. We believe this first judgment would take place as God revealed in America. We believe that this is time in history for separation of the so-called Negroes and the so-called white Americans. We believe the black man should be freed in name as well in fact. By this we mean that he should be freed from the name imposed upon him by his former slave master. Names which identify him as being the slave master slave. We believe that if we are freed indeed, we should go in our own people's name. The black, the black people of the earth, we believe in justice for all. Stop a lot. We believe in justice for all, rather in God or not. We believe as others that we are due equal justice as human beings. We believe in equality as a nation of equals. We do not believe that we are equal with our slave masters in the status of freed slave. We recognize and respect American citizens as independent people, and we respect the laws which govern this nation. We believe that the offer of integration is hypocritical and is made by those who are trying to deceive the black people into believing that the 400-year-old open enemies of freedom, justice, and quality are all of a sudden their friends. Furthermore, we believe that such deception intended to prevent black people from realizing that the time in history has arrived for the separation from the whites of the nation. If the white people are truthful about their professed friendship toward the so-called Negroes, they can prove by dividing up America with their slaves. We do not believe that America will ever be able to furnish enough jobs for her own millions of unemployed in addition to jobs for 20 million black people as well. We believe that we we believe that we declare ourselves we believe that we who declare ourselves to be righteous Muslims should not practice in wars which take the lives of humans. We do not believe this nation should force us to take part in such wars. We have nothing to gain from it unless America agrees to give us the necessary territory within. We may have something to fight for. We believe our women should be respected and protected as the women of other nationalities are respected and protected. We believe that Allah, God, appeared in the person of Master W. Farad Muhammad, July 1930, the long-awaited Messiah of the Christians and the Mahdi of the, of the Muslims. We believe, further and lastly, that Allah is God, and besides him, there is no God, and he, he will bring about a universal government of peace, wherein we all can live in peace together. We all stop that. Don't ever stick nothing in a porn electric thing. Excuse me, but those are my grandchildren. I have to tend to them as well as doing this. And for them, I would do whatever I need to do to make sure my grandchildren are protected and my children are protected. And we all should have the same attitude and stand behind this program and write your Congress, write your governor. I mean, call your government, write your Congress, and stand on this. And if we got to go to the U.N., we're going to the U.N. And whatever Minister Farrakhan want us to do, that's what we should do, and y'all should listen. And you stop all that division, we ain't got time for that. What we need to do is take care of ourselves and protect our children. They depend on us.
I'm tired of going hearing about funerals, and I'm tired of seeing these shirts of rest in peace. But so, what somebody else did to us. To me, that's punk stuff. I love y'all. I did this in love. So take it and receive it in love. If it be the will of Allah. I thank you. Assalamu alaikum.